is up Spartan this is Kuya Red again and welcome to Red Spartan KH TV and today we're going to learn something new that's why the title of my video for today is let's learn ICT or information and communication technology with Red Spartan KH TV grade 4 so all of the information here are applicable to grade 4 students Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So for our lesson for today so there will be uh, I think part four of this uh, computer operation and and fundamentals and the first one is the computer system which is the part one the objective of this first lesson is to be able for us to complete all of these 12 objectives first is identify the parts of the computer second is list down examples of computer Third is differentiate between hardware and software. Fourth is demonstrate an understanding of input process and output. Fifth is describe the uses of computer in our daily lives. And number six is list down the advantages of using computer. Number seven, list some places where computers are used. Number eight, identify parts of the mouse. Number nine, hold the mouse properly. Number ten, identify the mouse pointer on the screen and place it over an item. Number eleven, differentiate between click, double click, and drag and drop. And number twelve is switch on and off of the computer. So let's begin. So what is computer? Computer, let me adjust my video, my camera. So what is computer? Computer is an electronic machine which help in solving problem easily. So as you see, I have here a set of computer. So this is a set of computer. So parts of the computer, we have here our monitor. We have here our monitor. Next is our system unit. Next is our keyboard. Keyboard. Next is a speaker and mouse. Those are the main parts of computer. We have also some examples of computer here, such as smartphones. We have here desktop computer which is commonly used in schools, in internet shop, tablet, smartwatch, and also laptop. Those are the examples of computers. So hardware and software, what's the difference? So here we have some difference between hardware and software. So the computer is made up of hardware and software. It, it, it is hardware. The hardware is on any the hardware is any part of the computer that we can touch. So if you can touch a mouse, that's a hardware. Monitor, yes, that's also a hardware. Speaker and system unit, those are hardware parts of the computer. And also we have here printer, LCD monitor, and our keyboard. 
and software are the programs in, in a computer. Programs are the instruction that make a computer work. So we have here Windows. All right, we have the Windows and we have here Google Chrome. We also have here Microsoft Word and Window Media. There are some more software here like Android. This is also software. Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Paint, and Antivirus. So how a computer works? A computer takes in data and then process the data and then gives out information. So when you say data, the data is what we give to the computer. So when we type something, that is data. And it is also known as the input. And process is what the computer does with the input data. So once we input something, the, pro the computer will do its, its job to process the data that we input. And information is what the computer gives back to us after processing and it is also known as the output so for us to understand input process and output uh, perfectly I have some example here so input is what we give to the computer so if the comp so if we would like to see a uh, image Okay, so we have an image, so example, we paint or we draw using paint in the computer. So we draw some uh, flower and we, are, we would like to print it and we want to, pr to print it. So the computer will process it going to our printer. And then once... Once we send the information to the printer, the printer will give us an output, which is the computer gives back to us. So we use input, we use input devices to give data to the computer. So those input devices can be mouse, keyboard, gamepad, webcam and also we have here a scanner okay a scanner so we use output devices to get information from the computer so the output are the monitor the printer the speaker and also our projector and where do we usually see those computers so computer is not computers in our daily life we use computer almost everywhere these are the example of the places that we use computer home we have here at home we use computer at home we use computer at school at the airport in post office in the hospital and in bank so why we use computers? There are reasons why we use computer. A computer is, of course, it's, it is fast. And also, it does not make mistakes unless we make mistake on, on inputting. And it never gets tired. And computers uh, will help us to do some homework or play games or even listen to music and also uh, we use computer to watch film or movies to communicate with people through chat or video calls or to find information through in through Google or internet and also we use computer for doing group works online and surf the internet and also on, do some online or internet banking 
So switching on and shutting down a computer. So we have ways of switching on and shutting down computers. So switching on, switching on the computer, we just press the power button on the system unit and then switch on the monitor. So we have to switch on two things, switch on the power button and switch on the monitor. And wait for the windows to load properly before starting to work. And then shutting down. So when we shut down a computer, we need to close all the programs by clicking on the close window button. This one. Okay, we need to close everything first before we shut down our computer. And then we need to click start. Click start. The cl click the start button. And then there is click on shutdown. You see the shutdown here? It will appear and then just click shutdown and it will shut down. So that's all for our lesson one. And I hope you have learned something for today. And... Uh, again, this is Kuya Red and this is Red Spartan Cage TV. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And see you on my next lesson. Bye-bye.